everyone. Welcome to another day in the Shroud of the Avatar. We're in game today with our character Scarface. And what, we're going to, what I thought I'd talk about today is the actual chat. What this box down here in the game. As you can see it's got a lot of chat going on, people coming online and such like. And you can control it with a little tab here. Actually, change the font size. So it's just let's see if we can get that as central. Change the settings in here. Disable chat bubbles, which is above your head. Synchronize with chat bubbles. Disable clickable keywords, which is when you actually chat to the in game characters. Continue chat after a submit, auto hide, disable auto hide for chat window, enable profanity filters so you don't see any swearing, and use transparent background, which just changes the background into a transparent background. And then you have your tabs in here, and you can remove a tab. I change the font size in here then you can choose what you want to see in the tab here so if we don't want to see the guild chat for instance we can actually do that and now we don't see any guild chat at all we just see all the people talking in like Rudyard's talking in I believe local there this is when I took some damage in falling of course people coming on and off going offline now there are different types of or sub sectors of chat you've got your NCP which is your computer players of course sometimes you can say I'm over here I'm over here and if you don't want to keep on hearing that repeated in the chat you can turn it off you have local which is just a chat above your head you've got zone which means everybody in the area you are gets the message as well and then if you're in a party you have party chat and then of course you have guild chat if you're in a guild and this whisper nobles which was a special special group given out to the first people that joined the game then you've got combat for yourself your party and for others then you've got emotes that you use and then everything else is in miscellaneous now we've only got one tab at the moment. If you want to add another tab, just click the plus. And a second tab is created. Now if you want to name your tab, if you go into there and you click on here, which is not very clear, let me just try the opaque background. used to be like that. Right, you can change the font size in here, change the thing with a number, and here you can type in what you want it to be, so I'm going to say or in this one because everything's turned on, and if you come out of the tab, hit or Enter. We'll put too many L's in there. So that's all. And then we created another tab. And this one, what I'm actually going to do is turn off everything except the guild and the whisper. And then we should just have the guild chat in there. And we call that one guild. So you can see how I'm now creating different groupings in the chat area. Then we'll just call one chat. And what we'll have in that is we will add the local zone and the party into it. So 
to all of the general chat thingies, all and the nobles. And finally we'll add the fourth one in. Now you notice that they've gone off the end. You can actually expand it up if you want to, but you don't want to really have too many tabs. And in this one, you can take all of the chat out. As you can see now, that's an opening message that is given. And then we can have combat. And that's how you can create tabs in the actual game. So you can actually see, it's like that one's everything. So it's all the combat and everything in that one. That's just guild chat in my case. So it's just all the guild chat, nobody else. It's full chat, so it's including the guild chat. So that's just in case somebody else might turn up from the guild who's, who wants to talk to me. And combat, which takes out all the chat so you can see what's going on in your combat. Now you could lay it out however you wanted to. Now, how you can change down here, it says to guild. So if I type in here, um, I'll be typing a message just to the guild, not to the local area. Uh, nope, wrong keyboard. So I'll just say hi to everybody. As you can see, it's come up as thing we can help see that somebody's answered back. They might start talking now. So now if you want to change it, uh, you have different areas in the game. You have guild, local, whisper, party, and zone else is saying that they're okay. That's a bit of text chat to say they're okay or saluting. Now if you want to go to local, just put hashtag and L and it's changed to local, which means anybody in the local environment would be able to be chatting to everybody there. Um, now if you're in a party, do hashtag party, then that will change your tag your group into party so you if you were out fighting or adventuring just you're just talking to your party and not to everybody and then you have a hashtag zone or Z for zone and that will everybody in the actual instance will get the message so it's local is just above your head basically and then zone is the whole area which you'll probably only be using uh, guild or zone and then the other ones are whisper which you can type whisper and then the name but it's far easier to go in and find and choose somebody from up here and then you go whisper and then their name appears or I've got my other character in game at the moment just move our box down here and we'll change the background right mouse click on any character you've then got whisper in there as you can see when you're whispering to somebody it comes up with their name and once you've finished you can then choose your favourite one so go back to guild chat now you can set up different ones in each tab so we could have so local in that one Guild in that one, and then in chat, could actually just set up ones for whispering. So, and that's how you can use the chat box in the game to actually talk to people in different groups and areas. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If I haven't made myself clear or anything on that, that in any particular part, please do leave a comment below and then we can answer the question and if necessary redo the video. And if you haven't subscribed, if you can subscribe so then you'll know when more content comes out. And also thank you for watching.